Hello and welcome back. Sorry about the delay between projects. Been rather busy in between times, but finally managed to get out in the shop again and I'm going to have a go at another project. While I was at um, UKIS uh, this year, I got several pieces of wood, including this absolutely beautiful piece of Sobrano. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think it's quite heavy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in two and I'm going to make two matching bud vases with it. I've never made two of anything um, to, to absolutely match. I know I made a couple of platters, but it's not, not the same sort of thing at all. Um, so I've got an idea for a design in my head. So, so I'm going to get uh, this cut in half. I'm going to get it on the lathe, uh, one piece of it anyway, and uh, make a bud vase and then make a second one to match. And uh, they'll look nice on the mantelpiece, one either end. So, uh, so that's the project for today. So I'll see you at the lathe. So, um, having cut the piece in half, uh, this is one half, and I've taken it around uh, on the lathe, put a, a tenon on, and put it into this end of the chuck. I've also made a line here, uh, which is where I'm going to part off. So that gives me a length uh, for the bud vase. And you'll see a pencil line here as well. That's five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to face off at this, so I know my vase is five and a quarter inches in height. So the next step is to just face this off, uh, put the Jacob's chuck in my tailstock, and drill a hole down the centre to the depth I want. So we've got the hole drilled in the top, four inches deep. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape the outside of the vase. Um, rather than having a, a fat, uh, fattish belly, um, I think I may go for more of a teardrop shape and I want to flare the rim at the top. So um, that's what I'm going to attempt now. Um, I'm just going to work freehand with this and just see where the shape takes me. And then uh, I'll copy the second one from this. So having roughed out the shape, I'm just going to taper the top in to meet the hole a little bit, uh, make it look a lot wider. Uh, maybe come in about uh, three quarters of an inch or so. We'll see uh, see how this works. Very careful cuts because obviously now we're just supported by the jaws in the chuck.
So I've uh, I've treated the wood with some Danish oil. I've put some cellular sanding sealer on and I've used Yorkshire grit to get it as smooth as glass. So I'm going to uh, finish it with a little bit of Hampshire Sheen high gloss. I think you'll agree with me that, that um, that's come really well. I'm just going to let that dry for a second or two and then I'm going to put a bit of Carla Crystalline stick on the top of it to, uh, to make sure that we've got a nice micro crystalline finish. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with that. It's a lovely piece of wood. And there we are. That's really lovely. Right, I'll get that parted off and we can start with part two. So I've got the, um, the second piece of Zebrano uh, taken to round um, and I've got the, um, the first little uh, bud vase here. So what I've done now is I've just put some lines um, where the key points are. So um, the, uh, at this end uh, where I'm going to part off plus the width of the foot, the centre line of um, the outside uh, of the curve on the bars and the centre line of the inner curve uh, just to give me an idea of where I'm working to so uh, I'm now going to start working to that as I uh, cut uh, the wood and uh, aim for this shape again. So that's the uh, the hole drilled in the end, brought the tailstock back up. I can now continue to shape this um, and to get the widths correct um, at the three major points. Just stopping regularly to make sure that I keep the cove in exactly the right place. Again, and we're getting very close now, so just starting to get a bit nervous about getting it in exactly the right place. But that's looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I think I need to take this away a bit more. You see the, the curve on here is, is much more shallow. So I'm going to have to take some off here at some point and get this bit done correctly. I'll be happy.
taken that sadly too far back here not left it up enough so it's not going to be exact Yep, that'll do. I'll just get the uh, parting line a little deeper, and then I'll, uh, I'll work on this end. So I'm just going to uh, finish off with some kind of crystalline stick. This is how. It's a Danish oil, Dutch grit, Dutch machine, high gloss, and now the kind of crystalline wax on top of it. that off now. So have I done in my little challenge to myself? Well, this is the original and this is the one I've just completed. I'm very pleased. Um, this is a little darker. It's taken the, the oil a little bit more than the original one, although it hasn't been on here as long as it's been on here, so that may change. Height-wise, 
they're just slightly different, ever so slightly. Um, but all told, I'm very pleased. Um, I haven't quite got this neck correct on the second one. Uh, it's a much nicer OG shape on here. Um, but the first time for trying two identical pieces and I'm actually very pleased with them. Um, they'll look very nice on the mantelpiece. The wood is superb, isn't it? Um, it's almost like, um, it's almost like olive wood. Um, although it's certainly not like olive wood to turn. Uh, I found it uh, very brittle. Um, created lots of dust um, and wasn't as pleasant to turn as other woods uh, that I've had. That said, um, it's stunning and it's made two really nice bud vases. Got some weight in them. Um, okay, uh, I've only drilled a small hole on the inside so there's quite a lot of wood still in but they, they really are quite heavy. They're not going to fall, uh, fall over easily. So uh, very pleased with them indeed and um, an another nice little project um, to, uh, to go back into the house. Uh, thanks very much once again to all my subscribers. Uh, all the new subscribers, you're very, very welcome and thanks for joining me. Um, I'm not one for uh, trying fancy things, at least not yet. I'm not um, an experienced enough turner, really. Um, what I'm trying to do is challenge myself to make simple pieces very well. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment and uh, I'll concentrate on the fancy stuff when, when I've got the basics off. But um, you really can make very nice things um, with very few tools, um, an entry level lathe and uh, lots and lots and lots of practice. So keep at it and um, I'm sure you'll enjoy the hobby as much as I do. Please do take the time to like, share and subscribe. It's lovely when I get new subscribers, I, I really enjoy it. It's nice to know that the videos are enjoyed by people. Um, and it never ceases to amaze me the amount of views that the videos get. Thanks very much for all that. So until the next time, thanks very much for watching and bye for now.